Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is insert delete get random big O of one. So in this question, we have to implement the randomized set class. So the first is the constructor randomized set which initializes the randomized set object. Here we have to use this to initialize the object. Next, we have to implement the three functions. The first function is a insert function which takes in a value as a parameter and returns boolean value true or false and since it is a boolean value we have to return either true or false we have to return true if the item was not present and you were able to insert that value into the set we have to return false if it is present inside the set so there is no need of inserting as it is already present we return false this function is going to remove an element which is passed as parameter from the set if it is present and similarly to the above function this will also return true or false we have to return true if the item was present and we have to remove that from the set else we have to return false because we weren't able to remove that item from the set because it was not already present inside the set and the last one is get random function which returns an integer so we have to return a random element from the current set of elements and each element must have the same probability of being returned so this gives us a hint that you have to use some random generator in java we can use the random class and create a random object and use that to return a random element from the list present. And the most important thing is that all the functions, these three functions should work with O of 1 time complexity. So insertion should take place in O of 1, removal should take place on O of 1 and get random element should take place in O of 1 time complexity. Now let's take a look at this question and how we can build the logic and solve the question. So we have to implement these three functions, right? insert remove and get random and we have to implement these functions using o of one time complexity so we know for sure we have to use some data structure so what are the options we have we can't use arrays because it will take o of n time we can use the array list and we can use a hash map so let's take a look at the array list and see if we can implement these three functions using o of one time so array list insertion will take o of one time because array list if you want to insert a new element it will add a new element to the end. So for example, if I want to add 4, it will add at the last index position 6. So this will take O of 1 time. And to get an element from the array list, it will also take O of 1 time. For example, if you want to get the second index position element, it will pick that and directly return it in O of 1 time. And coming to the remove function. So for example, if you want to remove this element from the array list, so it will shift these elements to the left and decrease the last index position. So after deletion, the array will look like and this last position will be removed. So here, for example, if you want to delete this element, you have flipped all the elements to the left. So this deletion operation will take O of n time. But here is the catch. It will take O of one time to delete if you are deleting from the last index because there is no need to shift any elements. If you want to delete the last index position, it will take O of one time. So we have to make use of this property. But this value to be removed can be present anywhere inside the set. If for example we want to remove this element, you have to swap it with the last element and then remove from the end. So to keep track of the index positions and the elements and its index position, we can use a hash map to store the key and value pair. So the key is going to be the array element. So these are going to be the array elements. 1 is at index position 0, 9 is at index position 1 and so on and then use these index positions to swap the elements to be deleted. For example, if you want to delete this element, you will use the index position and swap it with that index position and then remove from the end. So this will give you O of 1 time complexity. So we have to use both array list and hash map. So why can't you use just hash map? So insertion will take O of 1 time and removal will take O of 1 time. But to get a random position inside a hash map, it will take O of n time because there is no concept of index positions inside a hash map it will take o of n time to search which index position you want to retrieve and then you have to retrieve that element that is why we are going to use the combination of both array list and hash map and implement all of them in o of one time removal in array list can be converted from o of n to o of one only if you remove from last only if you remove from last index position so let's implement the same steps in a java program coming to the code given to us we are given the randomized set class and here we have to initialize the object. Since we are going to use the array list, the hash map and the random class, let us declare those three globally so that we can access them in all the below methods. So here I declared a list, here I declared a hash map which will contain 
keys and values as integers and I use the random class to create a random object. Now we will initialize these inside this constructor. So here I'm initializing the array list and here I'm initializing the hash map. So for every input, the first method that is going to be called is this constructor which will initialize our list and map. Now let us take a look at the insert function. So we have to insert this value into the set if it is present. So we have to check if that value is present inside the map. So I'm checking if that map contains the value. If it contains, we have to return false, right? Because here they're saying if the item was present, return false. I'm returning false. Else we have to add that item into the list and the hash map. And finally, we'll return true because we were able to insert that item. So here I'm adding that value as key into the map and also initializing the size. So this will give us the index position. Like for example, initially size is empty, right? Size will be zero and the first element will be present at the zeroth index. Next, when the size is one, the second element will be added at the second index position inside the list. So the map is going to store the index positions of where that this value is present inside this list so that we can retrieve that value from the map to implement the remove function. And finally, we have to return true to right because that element was not present and we have to return true. So this is the insert function where the average time complexity is offered. Now let's take a look at the remove function. Now we have to remove an value from the set if it was not present. So we have to use both the map and the set both combined to remove the element from the last index position. So first I'm implementing this logic. If the element was not present, if map dot contains key value, if this value is not present inside the map, we have to return false. So this is doing that. Now I'm getting the index position of where this value is present inside the map and I'm storing it inside this variable position. And now I'm using a if statement to check if this position is not the last index position inside the list. If it is not the last index position, we have to process something, right? Because we only have to remove from the last index position. If that position is not the last index position, we have to do some logic. If this position is not the last index position, then I'm getting the last element from the list. So list.get of last index. And then I'm adding the last element into the list at this position index. So list.set will take two parameters. This is the index position and this is the element you want to add at this index position. And remember, we also have to update the position of this last element inside the map. So I'm adding that as a key and updating this position as the value. So if this is not processed, which means this condition failed, it means we are at the last index. We can remove the element directly now. So I'm directly removing the element because if this is not passed, it means it is the last index and I'm removing this value from the map and also removing the element at the last index from the list. And finally, we have to return true, right? Because it is expecting a Boolean value. We already returned false, so here return true. Now this removal function is also implemented in OAuth one time. Now let's implement the get random function. We have to get a random index position. So this random object is going to use the next int method so the next int method will give us a number between zero inclusive and parameter exclusive. So from zero to list dot size. So if size of the list is five, so this random object will give us an integer from zero to four. Five is not inclusive if list size is five. And now we have the index position. From this index position, I have to retrieve from the list. So list dot get of this random integer will pick one random integer from the list. And this operation is also O of 1. Now we implemented all the functions. Now let's try to run the code. The test case is accepted. Let's submit the code. And our solution is accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of 1 because we implement all the function using O of 1 time complexity. And the space complexity is O of n because we're using a list and a map to implement the logic. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.